Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve an equilibrium problem. Determine the tension in the cable and the horizontal and vertical components of reaction of the pin A. So the horizontal and vertical components. So the problem is already telling us that the support A is going to have two reaction forces. But if, in, if the problem hadn't told us, you should be able to identify that because the support at A is pinned. So it's going to have a reaction in X and reaction in Y. The pulley at D is frictionless and the cylinder weights 80 pounds. So the weight here is 80 pounds and the pulley is frictionless. That means that the tension developed in the rope is the same because we are dealing with the same rope. Similar to any other equilibrium problem, the first step is to draw the free body diagram. So I have my beam here, I have the reaction forces AX, AY, I have the tension here TB, also another tension here TB. So the problem hasn't given me the angle but also but the triangle that I deal with 1, 2, so this would be a square root of 5. And also at here, I have TC, which if I combine it with another free body diagram of my weight, here is TC, W. So if I write just summation of forces here equals zeros for Y, that means that TC equals W equals 80 pound. So here I have 80 pound. So here I have drawn two free body diagram, one and then one for my beam. So you can see the TC is going to cancel out. That would be an internal force when I combine the two free body diagrams. But the main free body diagram that we deal with is the free body diagram of our beam. If I draw the dimensions, I have five here. I have five and then three feet. I have three unknown, AX, AY, and TB. In 2D, I can write three equilibrium equations so I can find my three unknowns. I start with uh, X, summation of forces in X. Before that, I have my coordinate system. So summation of forces in X would be zero. Therefore, I have AX. This TB is going to create a horizontal component. The horizontal component would be 1 over square root of 5. is towards negative x, so negative TB. 1 over square root of 5 equals 0. So I have uh, two unknowns here that I can't solve it. Summation of forces in y equals 0. I have ay. Uh, plus TB, so plus this TB, and also here for TB, the vertical component, that would be TB 2 over a square root of 5. And I have negative 80 equals 0. So here I have two unknown as well. I'm going to go with my moment equation. I can write a moment equation about any point. Uh, whether the, there is a force acting at that point or not, whether it's on the beam or off the beam. So summation of moment can be written uh, at any point. But if you look at the problem, we can see it's easier to write it about point A. We get rid of two forces, AX and AY. So let's do that. Summation of moment about point A equals zero counterclockwise positive. So let's see what forces are uh, creating a moment. We have this force. TB is creating a positive moment. The vertical component of the second TB is also a positive moment. TC is creating a negative uh, moment. So we have three components in our moment equation. So let's go and write this. TB, moment arm is 5. That was a positive moment. Also TB, 
only the vertical component is going to create a moment. The horizontal component is not going to create any moment because it's going through point A and we are neglecting the thickness of our beam. So only the vertical component. And the vertical component is 2 over a square root of 5. So 2 over a square root of 5, it just gives me the force. I still need to multiply it by the moment arm. I've seen in exams that students forget multiplying it by moment arm because they have already multiplied it to find the vertical component. So 5 plus 5, that would be 10. The last one would be 80 pound, the moment arm 13. So this one, the last equation, we only have one unknown. So we can find TB. So TB would be 74.58 pound. If I replace TB to my other equations, here this equation will give me the value of AY, which would be negative 61.29 pound. And also if I plug in here, I can find AX, which would be 33.35 pound. So we had three unknowns, we found these three unknowns here, TB, AY, and AX. But if you pay attention, AY is negative here, which means that the direction that we assumed is incorrect, and actually AY is going downward. But we're not going to go and change our free body diagram and erase it and redraw on it. So the way we are representing here, AY is going upward, the value is negative, which means that the actual value is going in the opposite direction of Y.